The procedure that we're going to demonstrate for you is oral surgery. The first one we're going to do is a simple extraction. We're going to assume that our dental assistant has applied the topical anesthetic. The tooth we're removing is the 1-1. One -one. After the dental assistant has placed the topical anesthetic in the appropriate places to freeze the appropriate nerves, the dentist will take the syringe that has already been prepared with a short needle. While the dentist is giving anesthetic, the dental assistant will be ready to give a courtesy rinse after the dentist has finished. Assuming that approximately 10 minutes has passed, the dental assistant would then pass the dentist the mirror and explore to ensure that the tissues are sufficiently numb, meaning that the tooth is ready for removal. The first thing that we're going to pass our dentist is the periosteal elevator. The periosteal elevator will help to loosen all of the tissues around the tooth. The dental assistant will suction the entire time during this procedure with the surgical suction. The dental assistant will then pass the tooth elevator. The dentist will then attempt to loosen the tooth or elevate the tooth. We would then pass the appropriate forceps. Notice that the dental assistant continues to suction the entire time. We would pass the dentist the anterior forceps. The dentist would then take the forceps and remove the tooth. The dental assistant will have ready in her hand gauze and take the entire tooth and forceps in one movement. She would then pass the dentist the curette. The curette is to remove any debris within the socket. If there's an abscess or any type of infected tissue, this would be removed at this time. We would then pass to our dentist the monoject syringe, which has sterile water. The dentist would then irrigate the site with sterile water. The dental assistant would take a 2x2 two two gauze, moisten it with the sterile water, folding it into a little log. We would roll it up and make sure it's moist with the sterile water. Pass it to our dentist. The dentist would then place it around the socket area and have the patient bite together firmly. We would return our patient to the upright position and we would give them the proper post-operative instruction.